Hi, my name is Stacy Meester and I am doing an experiment with my son Gavin who is four years old. We are testing Piaget's pre-operational stage and class inclusion. Um, Gavin is going to be my participant in this experiment. Okay, Gavin. Mommy is going to let you look in there. Okay. Now, can you tell me, are there more candies or are there more green candies? There's more green candies. Are the red ones candy? Mm. Hmm. I don't know. How about the green ones? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah? Then do you think there's still more green candies or more candies? Um, more green candies. If you were going to make a necklace out of those, what color would the candy necklace be? Um, red and green. Red and green? Mm hmm What would be longer, a candy necklace or a green candy necklace? A green candy necklace. A green one? Can you take those candies and can you show mommy how to make a long necklace? But I don't know how. Can you just set them on the counter? Mm-hmm. And of the green ones? Make a long what you think would be a long necklace. Good job, honey. Thank you. So what is that necklace made out of? Hmm. Green. Green? Mm -hmm. Is it made out of candy? Mm. Yes. Okay, good job, honey. Thank you. You're welcome. And I did it. Okay, well from that experiment you can see that my son Gavin did fall into uh, the categories that Piaget had stated for the pre-operational where even though he does understand that the red and green were all candies, he still believes that because there were more green candies, they would produce a larger necklace. Um, he's not putting together that if you were to make a candy necklace, the candy necklace would be obviously larger because it would have both the red and the green versus just the green. Um, in the book it states that sometimes when they get closer to the end of that stage, the age of four, five, six, sometimes they do uh, make the correct uh, assumptions, but it does state in the book as well that they may not understand why they're making that connection. They don't, haven't fully developed that in their mind. Um, so I will be doing another experiment shortly with my younger son to see how, how he fares on his experiment. This is my son Logan. He's 21 months old and we are testing the sensory motor stage and object permanence if I can get him to cooperate with me. All right, Logan, come here. Look, mommy's got the ball. Okay, can you sit down? <laughs> mommy will give you the ball. Good boy. All right. Can mommy see the ball? Good boy. Where did the ball go? It is. There it is. Can you show mama the ball again? Good boy. Well, <laughs> well mommy wasn't fast enough on that one. Where'd the ball go? It is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> well, 
I think that showed that Logan was able to demonstrate object permanence. He did understand that even though something was in front of the ball, that the ball still continued to exist and he just needed to move the object in order to get what he was looking for, which he was very happy to do so. This concludes my experiments with my children demonstrating Piaget's um, different stages of development. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I ask that if for some reason anyone would ever want to show this video again that you do get my permission since I did use my children. Thank you!